That's right, today is a let's play where we do not kill Shanice for once, but instead we turn her into an adult worker. Although it seems I forgot to enable mods, so I am clearly not prepared. Anyway, as I was saying, we do have a brand new trait which is called a blank worker. As you can see, Shanice is raring to go. This might surprise you all actually, but I'm not against doing OnlyFans myself. I know that's like really surprising. If I had like a proper hot body, then honestly, Honestly, I do it. On a slightly deep note, I am glad that OnlyFans exist because before then a lot of workers were being taken advantage of, whereas now they can be self-employed so they're not taken advantage of. So I think it's a great step forwards. So in order for this to work, we do need a computer. I do believe we also need a rather sultry room. This isn't like strictly rags to riches because we're not starting with zero simoleons, but it is kind of rags to riches. We're gonna have to work our way up. I love how the really aesthetic, beautiful for portable tablet computer from the pop kits. Pastel pop kit is actually cheaper than all of the other computers. Oh no, no, do you know what? We need to start with a good enough setup. We've gone for the expensive one, I apologize. The room does need to be glammed up a bit. I would also like to remove the windows just so we can control the lighting in here. Not that it probably makes any difference, but I'm pretending it makes a difference. Oh, I quite like that. I'm not gonna say the name of the website, but you know that website that comes up in ads? Live Flower. That one. I'm sure you can know what I mean. A lot of the people on those ads, they often like sit behind a bed. So we're gonna make like a really sultry looking bed set up. Something red. Doesn't have to be too fancy. Just something that is a little bit DTF. Shanice looks quite happy this time. Little does she know what's about to happen to her. At least she's not getting tortured because usually she just get tortured in my let's plays, I'm not gonna lie. So apparently in order to do it, she needs to be in a flirty mood. Now she is flirty, I believe we can do it. Or can we? Oh my god, is a mob bro? Broken, or am I just stupid? Apparently I am stupid because I installed an outdated <laughs> version of the mod. Well, there we go. Well, you know what they say, third time lucky. Okay, not third time lucky because the original mod basically disrupted the save file. So we're gonna have to go to manage worlds, kill off the old Shanice and create a new Shanice with the proper new trait. Bloody hell, what a palaver. I apologize for the clickbait, I do. Sometimes people on Twitter tell me that I'm really clickbaity, but like this time I genuinely didn't mean to be clickbait. Baby, it just happened. Okay, it finally works. We officially have Only Sims. So we can add a story on Only Sims, check Only Sims, or take a selfie. In order to post a sultry photo, Shanice must be in sleepwear and be flirty. But first, let us just add to our story. Ka-ching, there we go. This photo has captivated your subscribers. They can't wait to see the next one. Shanice got 12 subscribers. Just by taking a bloody selfie in Willow Creek. I'd start OnlyFans if I could do it that way. Bloody hell. Apparently we do need to raise our charisma level. And the great thing about Shanice is because she's a neurotic sim, like she literally is neurotic, she can flirt with herself. So she can put herself in a flirty mood very, very easily, which is rather useful, I believe. I mean, she's level one of the charisma skill, which is good enough for now. Although I do need her to like flirt with herself. Although she's uncomfortable because it's hot. So I think we need one of those, what's it called? A thermometer, not a thermometer. A thermostat, there we go. We need one of those to keep it cool in here because it is about to get hot. Right, she's flirty as a result of looking at herself because she's so arrogant. So time to get in our flirty room. Oh my God, the welcome wagon again, literally go f yourselves. So she needs to be in her sleepwear outfit. I actually don't know what her sleepwear outfit is. Oh, well, this is her sleepwear outfit. Extremely. <laughs> Extremely sultry. Maybe it's giving off like a girl next door look. I don't know. Okay, now we can post a sultry photo. She's looking, oh my God, she's literally looking the least sexy she's ever looked in her life. Oh my God, she had 99 simoleons. Just by taking that bloody selfie. I think I need to get on bloody only fans. Jesus Christ. Do we need to register with the Ministry of Labor so we pay our taxes? What is your title? What would you call our job title? Only Sims content creator. We can't fit creator on there. Well, if we say influencer. There we go, that fits in the character limit. Enter job description. Shanice makes money by selling feet pics. Will that actually come up now? Oh my god, it actually says it! <laughs> absolutely love that. Shanice, do you know what? Shanice is having the time of her life and that's simply because she's not being killed for once as she normally is. Oh, again, Shanice is being extremely sultry. What's this heart? Flirty. Although she's not looking very flirty at all, I must say. And we can click on these photos and post to Only Sims, which is rather lovely. We post all of those horrific photos to Only Sims. Only making $2 from each photo. I wonder why. <laughs> My gosh. I mean, look at this picture, Shanice, and you call yourself a 
professional. Should we try again, Shanice? Because clearly that was not the vibe. Is she gonna try harder this time? What if we select flirty? See, it doesn't make it like flirty. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't change anything. Clearly I've gone into this <laughs> unprepared. What I think we should do is change this back room into like a photography studio and actually take some nicer pictures. I think this is the first time in my life that I am actually making use of Moschino stuff. Let's get some key lighting in there. This kind of feels like me as a YouTuber. I guess YouTubers and OnlyFans creators are not that different. Okay, I believe, oh no, she just, she's literally grabbed the whole tripod now. Don't know what she's bloody doing. Oh my God, we've literally, oh my God, I literally accidentally sold the camera itself. <laughs> I literally sold the entire camera. What a bloody idiot. I swear I play The Sims 4 for my full-time career. Like I swear it's my job. <laughs> Well, you came for the OnlyFans, quite literally came, and you've stayed for the chaos, so thank you very much for being patient with me. Although we can't, I don't know how to take a picture for myself. Is that really stupid? All right, Chantal, come on, Chantal, you're helping me out. Right, Shanice, get on here, please. I don't know how to make Shanice actually get on there. Okay, I think we need the photo booth from Get to Work, because the photo booth from Moschino stuff doesn't actually work. What an absolute palaver. I've never had such a mess come from a Let's Play. Like, how long are we into this? video like 23 minutes into recording i don't know what that is in editing time but we haven't even got to the meat of it yet like i am i am being clickbaity i apologize but it's not my fault the sims 4 is a scattered mess it's not my fault we've wasted so much money on buying and selling crap that we can't actually afford the bloody photo booth anymore so i'm gonna have to sell things oh now of course it doesn't fit in the house of course not right i'm selling the computer i'm selling everything may as well sell my soul at this point i've got nothing left i'm doing an emb alone and I don't even care. Gosh, this photo studio is bloody huge and I can't fit it anywhere. Right, finally, are we gonna be able to do it? If we can't, I'm literally gonna scream my head off. Right, let's work on setting the scene. Set the backdrop, what do we want? Do we want like a party backdrop? Oh my God, that is not sexy in the slightest. Okay, we're just gonna go with a brick wall because there is nothing else. So we can post on Omi Sims with this, apparently. Is this gonna work or is the game gonna be a bitch? Oh my God, what? Excuse me? She just sold the entire thing! Shanice, you're wasting my money! Stop! Just stop, Shanice! In a minute, I'm gonna go berserk at Shanice because she's not doing this right. Have I got script mods enabled? Right, I'm just gonna get Shant out to take a very basic picture of Shanice and see if that bloody works. Now the game is lagging and freezing and I can't actually take a picture in the right place because the photography thing is going nuts. Right, there we go. Right, at least Shanice is doing a rather sultry pose this time. For once, she's trying. She's trying her best. Again, a rather innocent but sultry pose. Here we go. Let's do, there we go. That's a cute filter. Absolutely perfect. Right, Shanice has now got these and they can post them on Only Sins for Christ's sake after all of that. I wonder what our fame level is now. We're a little bit famous, not much. It is a hard life. It's a tough one to get into, I will admit. Do on, let's do a water backdrop. Rather sultry by the sea. I also think we ought to change our sleepwear outfit in order to make it more attractive because clearly what we've got now is not the vibe. YouTube loves to demonetize channels that use a certain type of sleepwear, so I'm not gonna use it. Instead, to make this video super family friendly, we are going for the rather sultry alien thing. I think Shanice looks really beautiful and she's sure gonna turn some heads. I mean, do you know what? There is somebody into everything in this planet, so I'm sure there is somebody who has a kink for aliens on a beach next to the water. I'm very much sure of that. Someone is gonna appreciate Shanice looking like this. Someone's gonna get off on this. I just know it. Let's take a couple of large photos as well for our biggest fans. I mean, doesn't this just scream sexy? Although the size difference hasn't made itself for more. So you know what they say, like size doesn't matter and it does ring true. Shanice, why are you in a playful mood? You need to be in a flirty mood, mate. Go take a bloody steamy shower. That's what you need, Shanice. Right, she's had a steamy shower. Time to get in the sleepwear. Although she's still, oh my gosh, she's still playful. This is doing my head in. I love how Chantal's not even gaining the photography skill from this as well. Maybe Shanice, do you know what? Maybe Shanice needs to take a really sexy alien pic in the bathroom or by herself. Clipping through the shower, absolutely lovely. Right, now she's feeling flirty. I think we can get back to the booth. Again, oh my gosh, Shanice, you're the least flirty person in the bloody world. I mean, to be fair, like we are making a bit of money. Right, she's looking a bit more romantic this time. I guess that'll be fine. Should we do black and white? Make it a bit old fashioned. I honestly thought 
thought there would be like some more interactions that you could do on the PC. I'm actually quite surprised that there isn't. I mean, I've had a look and I can't find anything in the menu. So according to the official website, which I cannot show because technically it's not child friendly, all of like the extremely sexy stuff, you have to pay for it. As some of you guys know, I don't pay for mods. I only ever cover mods if they are free and available for everybody to use. So I don't let you guys down when I do mod reviews. But the actual free version of this mod, I'm, I am gonna be honest, like I am a brutally honest person even when I review mods. It's not the most engaging thing in the world. All you can really do is take pictures, but it's just like taking a normal picture. I thought that on the free one, you could actually do like live streaming and videos and stuff and do lots of different things, but you can't. I am a bit disappointed. I never condone paying for mods. I know that's controversial because I know a lot of modders do like to use Patreon to make money and like good for them. But as I said, like I don't review mods unless they are free and available for public access. That's why my mod reviews always come out later than everybody else's because I wait until it's free. But having a look, there's no sign of this mod actually being free in terms of all of the features in the future. I've seen other simmers, including some of my Sims friends doing OnlyFans or Only Sims on their channels and they've had a lot of fun with it. But I think the reason why is because I'm too stingy to pay for it. So yeah, I haven't paid for the exclusive paid for Patreon version of this mod. And I don't really want to because I want to try and only review mods if I know that you guys can get it really easily for free. So I'm not going to be downloading it. For what it's worth, I think the mod is okay, but you need to use a lot of creative liberties, I think, in order to enjoy it. I think it's a great start. I would like to see the mod expanded on in the future, especially with some of the more like OnlyFans sultry things becoming free. I think if you own high school years, you might enjoy Simfluencer and video game streamer more just because it has a lot more features, but it was all right to mess around with. Saying that, this Let's Play, <laughs> this Let's Play was a disaster. I'm sorry for the clickbait, I am sorry. But you never know until you try these things out, I guess. I had a lot more success with Carl's Guide's Dine Out mod, which you can check out here. Or if you're not into mod reviews, you can also check out this other video here. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.